on his computer, which to developers outrageous, right? From the first day, he was complaining about all this stuff. Gray walls, gray desks, gray noise. The first day I showed up here, I simply couldn't take it. By lunchtime, I had literally locked myself in a bathroom stall and started crying. I can't imagine staying sane with someone buzzing in my ear all day, let alone getting any actual work done. Nobody else seems to get work done here either. Everybody's always coming into our room to hang out and chat or invite us to play the new video game system that Wired is testing. He really had different aspirations that were politically oriented. And Silicon Valley just doesn't really quite have that culture that orients uh, technical activity for the purposes of political goals. Aaron hated working for a corporation. They all hate working for Condé Nast, but Aaron is like the only one who's not gonna take it. And Aaron basically gets himself fired by not showing up to work ever. It was said to be a messy breakup. Both Alexis Ohanian and Steve Huffman declined to be interviewed for this film. He rejected the business world. One of the really important things to remember about that choice when Aaron decided to kind of leave it, he was also leaving behind the things that had made him you know, famous and well-loved and, you know, he was at risk of letting down fans. He got to where he was supposed to be going and had the self-awareness and the orneriness to uh, realize that he had climbed the mountain of shit to pluck the single rose and discovered that he'd lost his sense of smell. And rather than sit there and insist that it wasn't as bad as it seemed, uh, and, and he did get the rose in any event, uh, he climbed back down again, uh, which is pretty cool. <laughs>